Her Majesty's Inspectorate of Constabularies has warned that the public has given up on the police's ability to solve crimes. And you certainly don't need to be a Sherlock Holmes to know that already. Although there are some people who still think the police as an organisation are there to help and protect rather than to simply prosecute people and investigate crimes that are needed for their statistics. Matt Parr from the HMIC has said that the failure to investigate crimes such as burglary and car theft was corroding the bond between police and public, adding that forces had been rumbled as their ability to investigate cases declined, with many victims not bothering to report them anymore. Now forgive me, bootlickers and cop suckers, yeah you, the ones who vigorously argue that the police do all they can in very difficult times. Just because you've been lucky enough to not have to need them yet, doesn't mean that your case will be investigated simply because you defend them. Only a very small amount of what's called volume crime is actually investigated by police. Volume crime being the likes of car crime and minor assaults. Unless, of course, it's a minor assault on a copper who's unlawfully detaining someone with excessive force. Then, of course, the whole police force gets in on the action of that one. The HMIC said it's a complex and worrying issue that particularly in volume crime, I think the public has rumbled that the police's capacity to deal with this is extremely limited. If you are the subject of a minor burglary or minor assault or car crime, I think people have now got to the stage where their expectations are low and the police live down to these expectations because they simply don't have the capacity to deal with it. There were some startling figures about car crime, but most of the public, far from reporting it, simply give up because the chances of anything positive happening are slim. Mr Parr added, it's a genuine live issue. This level of volume crime rates is corrosive for the relationship between a public and police. As police concentrate their resources on crimes involving vulnerable victims, the majority of victims who do all the tax paying end up with a less good service. That can't really be allowed to go on, he said, because it's corrosive on the bond between the public and the police. His remarks are the most damning from any official about the crisis with the police and came as he published a report which said plummeting confidence in the police was leading to growing numbers of crime victims to withdraw their support. More than 22% of victims who made a report later retracted their help from the police, up from 20% the previous year, in a vivid illustration of the public's disillusionment. The worst performing police forces are Cleveland, who were branded the worst in the country in 2019 after being found to be failing in all areas of policing. The first police force ever to be marked that shit. Northamptonshire, which is run by that absolute lunatic Chief Constable Nick Adderley, who, after the lockdowns began and restrictions came into place, threatened the public with roadblocks and shopping bag searches to ensure we were only buying what the police deemed as essential before retracting the statement after Pretty Patel stepped in over his comments. Warwickshire Police and West Mercia Police. While two of the best are said to be Northumbria and Merseyside. Who'd have thought it? In the year to September, just 5.4% of theft offences led to a suspect being charged for criminal damage. It was 4.9% and violent crime was 7.4%. For car crime, the chances of police catching a suspect and prosecuting them has fallen to just 1 in 400. Only 0.25% of vehicle theft and vehicle break-ins resulted in a fine, jail, community service or caution last year compared to 1.1% in 2017. Now the reports that I've seen haven't added any figures to compare these crimes against, such as crimes involving Hurty Fifi or Snowflake Lost an Argument crime, which I'm sure are going through the roof. Her Majesty's Inspector of Constabulary's report warned that the government's pledge to hire 20,000 new plods would not be a silver bullet and that gaining more police will only mask the piss poor performance if police forces fail to fix the long standing issues they already have. Big thank you to channel supporters, one and all, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know your thoughts, as I know many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police, and of course, other officials.